Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. A Sarasota man in amputee paid a Pasco County dog trainer, get this, $10,000 for a service dog to help him with everyday tasks. And instead, he ended up with an untrained, sick puppy and no refund. That's when he knew he'd better call Bankin. And on your side, investigator Shannon Bankin joining us now with the story. Guys, Donald Schultz now has a very expensive regular dog. After my investigation, though, the woman who was paid to train this dog is now in hot water with county officials. I'm hurt. I'm sad. Donald Schultz's new puppy, Astra, may never become the life changing service dog he paid $10,000 for. She was supposed to be trained, we were told, for like 50 tasks. Donald is an amputee after an injury while working at a police department in New York. I had a simple broken ankle that turned into 36 infections, 26 operations, 10 and a half days in a coma, almost died three times. After a surgery on his other leg, Donald became depressed. He found an ad online for Home Sweet Home Service and Therapy Dog Training ran by Lori Homer. He signed this contract to buy Astra. She was my hope to walk, to hold, to not let me fall. But visits with Astra were canceled. The final straw, this paperwork from a vet showing the dog was in, quote, gastric distress. Well, that vet's office tells Donald and me this is fake. And that visit never happened. Do you feel like you were played? Oh, I was played every from, from the first phone call. Fearing for Astra's health, Donald canceled training. Another vet confirmed the dog has worms. So it was time for me to take a drive to Lori's holiday home. Hi, I'm Shannon with Channel 8. Can I talk to you for a minute, please? She wouldn't answer the door. Meanwhile, dogs. county officials paid her a visit, too. She has no business tax receipt to legally Lori. run this business. Plus, Animal Control cited Lori for failing to have a health certificate for Astra. County officials say Ms. Homer assured them that she would pay back the money to Donald. However, Donald says she sent him a message saying she has changed her mind. Meanwhile, the county has decided to refer this case to the Pasco County Sheriff's Office. We are talking ten thousand yes. dollars. I can imagine that's a lot of money a to lot. that gentleman. So who oversees this type of training, service dog training, and what's gonna happen to that? cute dog well now. you saw Astra she's very comfortable there they have fallen in love guys they're keeping this dog yeah, yeah I was falling in love with this dog too but they're looking for a new trainer to help train the dog so that they can use the dog as a service animal as for regulation I found there's very little oversight of service dog trainers there are numerous organizations out there that offer free service dogs but it can be very difficult to qualify the waiting list can take years and that's why people like Donald turn to people like Lori Homer and and why it's expensive. It does. It costs a lot of money. All right, Shannon. If you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Bankin. The telephone number 1855 Bankin.